put my hat away now. I think we're live. You got your stuff? <laughs> yeah. Great. <laughs> I'm just going to mess around with this and then move this. Testing, testing, testing. Um, yeah, I'm just going to quickly close the door a little bit. To be more quiet. <clears throat> it is live. It is officially live. Um, I just gotta remember to look there and not there. So, um, first official all things Halo live stream. Um, just gonna do some haul unboxing that I've had for a few weeks now, and then I will also, ooh, I nearly dropped it, be painting this little RV, which is pretty cool if it focuses. Um, but yeah, uh, this is the Galactic Armory Arbiter. I did have the energy sword attached, but um, it did fall off my shelf and it did break, so. Um, I'll just move that a bit closer. Um, just working some things out. Um, never streamed before, so it's my first time. It feels a little bit odd, I'm not going to lie. But, um, yeah, if you guys do want to have a look at some things in the collection behind me, feel free to ask, and I'll jump up and go and grab that as well so you guys can see. Hey, dudes. How are you? Welcome. Um, I appreciate you guys being here. Um, it's probably going to be super cash. Um, I wouldn't expect anything super amazing. Um, it's just my first stream, so. But um, let's get to it. We'll start with the um, the smaller package first. I'll just angle the camera down a little bit so you guys can see a bit better. Um, there, oh, my angle just a bit off. It looks weird just looking at my mouth. All right. Um, so this was just from a local seller, um, just I think somewhere in Sydney maybe, I can't quite remember, um, but it's pretty cool. So our first bad boy is, oh, sorry about that, Glenn, the McFarlane Griff Bull Spartan. Um, this was an exclusive, I don't remember where, oh, San Diego Comic Con, look at that. Um, yeah, so exclusive, very cool. I do have one in my collection already, um, but it's always nice to get another one. And um, I didn't pay too much for it, to be honest. It was probably maybe 50 bucks, something like that. So it's not too bad. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Um, action Clicks. Riley. Um, yeah, it is Riley. Um, action Clicks, which is cool. Um I don't know what happened to this line. They um they just seem to gone. <laughs> but um the way it was played was you had well you click these panels around. But um underneath on here you would um have cards and whatever and that would give you your stats for your figures and then you would rotate them accordingly. So um yeah, it's very cool. This is a what is this jackal with a plasma pistol. Um I'll try and get that as close as I can. There you go. Oh, I'll look this way. Sorry, I'm looking over at my screen so I can see what I'm doing. But um, yeah, pretty cool. And then we've got a little grunt, which is pretty nice. We have a fuel rod spec ops grunt, or it says black ops, but they're called spec ops. Um, we've got a jackal sniper, which is really cool. Um, also another little uh, grunt. What would this be? Oh, just a grunt with a needle. That's what it says. I thought it'd be like a, you know, I don't think grunts come in the major um, class, actually. So I could be wrong there. And an Elite Miner, which is the um, Halo 2, Halo CE kind of design, which is always welcome. Always welcome. Fuel Rod Grunts would be OP. In, oh, dude. Imagine if they just brought the Fuel Rod Cannon to Halo Infinite. That would be awesome. That would be really nice. Um, so I'm going to put those over there for now. And then just a... I'll get rid of this box in a second. Thank you, darling. And just a Mark V B Spartan Funko Pop because I actually think that this thing is mega underrated. 
So um, yeah, the other figures that come in this wave is Eshram, but also Mark 5B um, and the Grunt. But this comes in a chase variant, which I do have um, over here. It's kind of at the bottom of my pop wall, so I can't actually bring it out. It's at the bottom of my pop wall, so I can't actually bring it out and show you guys. But um, it's just the only difference is the energy sword is red. So that's that's it, really. Um, you reckon you can get it out? Oh, there we go. Good job, Mrs. All Things Halo. And this is what the chase variant looks like. I've got mine in the, the hard plastic case. Um, and that's the chase. Sorry about that, Claire. I've just got this bright light in my face. Um, so, yeah, that looks nice. It's always good to have a chase in the collection. It's always good to see a chase because, you know, it keeps you busy, keeps you hunting. So I'll just put these back over here. All right, that box is done. Um, and now I'm just tidying up the workspace. Um, this box, which is much heftier, it covers the entire place. Um and yeah this came from a really cool dude over um over in canada his name is chris and he's a digital 3d artist and he's awesome he managed to find all of these things for me and um he held on to them for ages just because i kept having some things up and i wasn't financially good in terms of my pocket money so um he held on to them for ages for me which is awesome um i'll link his um his instagram in the chat um i'll get toxic minions to do that for me and um you guys can go and check out his stuff he's got some pretty cool stuff but anyways let's take a look at this um and in here is some um, world of halo scale so um in this kind of box set i mean box this is stuff we won't see in Australia and probably won't ever see in Australia. So it's going to be pretty cool to add these things to my collection. But um, I'll pull them out one by one and we can have a look. So starting off, we've got the Jackal Raider, which is from Wave 3. Oh, sorry, sorry. Wave, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wave 3. Wave 3. So I only got the Hyperius from this set. But... Um, yeah, the rest of this set, it, I don't know. This set is elusive. It was kind of everywhere, and then it just gone. And then now everybody seems to want it, and nobody can find it. So I'm glad to have it in my collection, that's for sure. I did have a Hyperius. Now I've got the Jackal Raider, which is awesome. Um, anyone in the chat? Yeah, yeah. I see a Red King. Yeah, yes, you do, my friend. Um, another thing that's really cool is... This bad boy, this is the Arbiter from Wave 5, and if you're American, you know that Wave 5 only got domestically released in Canada. So, the people in Canada were extremely lucky to actually get basically an exclusive Wave. However, Jazzwares has said that Wave 5 is meant to be coming in um, the middle of this year. I think they said it was meant to come towards the end of last year, but that didn't oh sorry that didn't happen unfortunately halo wars arby no this is the halo 2 arbiter felverdam but if you wait right there this was also a part of series um series five which was a two-pack sorry about that glare and this is the Halo Wars Arbiter, this one. So obviously um, Sergeant Forge, but this is the Halo Wars Arbiter. As you can tell, they are very different. One is called Ripper Morami and the other is Felverdam. They are two separate Arbiters from two different um, time, oh, not timelines, I would say two different story parts of the universe, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, that's the two pack that also came with this wave. So I'll just quickly put that back. Give me a second. So yes, Abra, very, very cool. So happy to have this in my collection. Um, on to, oh yeah. So we've got another two pack, which is also um, series five. And I think you might be able to see a trend coming. Um, you just played through all of the Halo games on Legend. Dude, hats off to you. That is a feat of strength for sure. 
Um, this is the Series 5 2-pack with Tartarus and the Prophet of Truth, which is really nice. I'm very, very happy to have this in my collection. I also have the um, Master Chief Fighting the Flood. That is already unboxed in the back. I'll, I'll actually go and grab that. So this is the chief from that set, um, the flood firefight set kind of thing. And you get a flood, huge, massive, what are the flood tank? Yeah, that's it. Flood tank. Huge, awesome looking flood tank, which I think is very, very, very well done. Heaps of articulation. Some articulation is a little bit pointless. But um, yes, yes. What's your favorite Halo game? Ooh. Um, to be honest, I would have to say Halo 2, only because Halo 1, like, I, I was kind of at the age where I understood that it ended kind of, kind of on a cliffhanger, and Halo 2 came out when I was a little bit older, so I actually got to understand a bit more of the story, and yeah, but, um, Halo 2 has to be one of my favorites for sure, but, um, yeah, Master Chief and Flood Tank, I'll go put these back, give me a sec. And it also came with a bunch of like little flood spores as well. Oh, sorry, infection forms, spores. Too much Halo TV show. Reach, I think, is the best because you. Um... Oh, yes. Yes, I agree. You play as yourself. Um, well, I actually think that there's two, two separate. So, in my opinion, the way Reach plays is you have a main timeline until you customize your own spartan and you are no longer spartan b b312 i think that's noble six's spartan number um but so my opinion is from the moment you um the moment you customize you are no longer spartan b312 you are your own version of noble six and your character doesn't exist anytime before that or anytime after that however spartan b312 exists before and during the game that's just my opinion but i totally agree i love playing as yourself i think it's very very cool but um yep that's the two pack we'll go on to the next one um, oh my goodness all right here we go series three elite mercenary i think it's called an elite mercenary which is really interesting because in elite culture or well i mean not an elite culture but in the covenant side of things this would be an elite minor so obviously being in the banished ranks it's it's very its own kind of entity so i guess the whole covenant slang term is now gone so a grunt my oh sorry an elite minor would now effectively be an elite mercenary in the banished that's just basically what i'm understanding this as but um it's a very cool figure i do like the blue it looks really good um I feel like the world of Halo is such a good toy line. Um, I don't know why it's been so quiet lately, but yeah, I want I want to see more. But Jazzwares Direct. So if you live anywhere else outside of USA, good luck because at the moment they only have USA shipping, and there's meant to be a new um, wave of figures coming soon. Jazzwares Vault just opened, um, and there was. There was nothing on there that was Halo, which was really disappointing, and nothing in the exclusives. But we do know we're meant to be getting Noble Six, the Elite Zealot, um, and also a rendition of I think it might be Halo Four or Halo Five Master Chief in the in the um, World of Halo line. So um, yeah, but anyways, I love this. This is Spartan EOD, fantastic. The only or one of the only kind of brighter yellowish kind of creamy colored spartans that we've had in the world of halo scale so um very very cool indeed um so underrated i i seen this figure going for so cheap so cheap back in the day and all of a sudden series three just vanished i don't know where it went i don't know what happened but now you can't seem to pick up a single figure for at least i mean for less than 65 bucks it's crazy and like i don't want to say how much i spent on all this but i spent a lot of money and um yeah i won't be opening them because 
Um, I'm an inbox collector because I do appreciate packaging as well. And I think this pack packaging looks fantastic, but um, you know, like it's, it's, it's so expensive. You don't really want to open it and I can enjoy it from inside the box, but um, yeah, she's staying in the box. Oh, what's next? Oh yeah. This one is super interesting to me. This is Spartan Cavallino. So um, this is effectively the default Spartan. Um, but um, so yeah, Clonies Mirror, yep, yep, yep. Um, infinite. Yeah, yeah, nice Maca. Halo Wars 2 was dope. Um, this is effectively your default Spartan in Halo Infinite. However, something that's really, really cool is the whole face attachment. Um, I actually, I don't know if um, the attachment was ever released. I don't think it was, but it looks... Sorry, I'm just checking my camera here because it's mirrored. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. No, I right, can I get closer? Sorry. It's focusing, but it doesn't want to because it's being rude. There you go. So you see that mouth plate thing? That's um, that's actually not in Halo Infinite when it should be. So that's very, very interesting. But um, nonetheless, super nice figure. Really nice blues, orange, really cool. Um, definitely, definitely glad to add this to the collection. That's for sure. Um, yeah, I really like this figure. But the last... But definitely not least, this is something that was so sought after and is still so sought after, it's unreal. You don't even really see this being sold. Well, you don't see it being sold here. And um, yeah, it's the Series 5 ODST, which is absolutely awesome. This, it looks so good. It looks so good. It just looks fantastic. It's so well done. It. Ah, uh, just like a good mix of Halo 2, but Halo 3 um, ODST vibes. It's, uh, I wish we saw ODSTs in Infinite. We didn't. But um, if I can ask Mrs. All Things Halo to grab me that ODST on the wall, please. And Sergeant Johnson as well. Um, so I already managed to get myself a Johnson. I've had Johnson for a while now. But um, something that I have that is very, very special, which I already, now I have the original, if I have, oh, Jesus, I'm so sorry. The difference between these two is that this one is a prototype. And as you can see, it's got yellow pauldrons. So that's really cool. It's also got yellow, like, um, hip plates on it as well. Um, I got this from some, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it was, like, a factory place or something. But, um, yeah, they, they just had it for sale, and I managed to it and I, I do know a couple people also got one of these as well so i think there's a few floating around but um it's it's really cool but i'm just happy to have both you know like super happy to have both that looks really awesome and now i've got a complete um wave five i've got a complete um series three as well so that's super awesome and i'm super lucky it cost me a pretty penny but that's just the price of halo collecting But um, if there's – hello there, fairy godmother. Welcome. Um, if there's anything you guys see behind me, ask. Just let me know what you want to have a look at. I can go and grab it. I got the – oh, it's reversed. I got the um, the Mega Xbox today from Big W, so that was really cool. Um, I'm just going to pack these figures away, and then we'll swap over to the RV painting. Oh, thing. oh, actually, that one has to go back on the wall. That one has to go back on the wall. These ones can just hang out in here for now. So many things, so many things. Put this back down here. But um, I'll quickly just aim this up a little bit so you guys can see if there's anything back in this that you want to have a look at just let me know i'll go up and i'll go grab it and i'll bring it down and i'll show you 
Um, oh, actually, if I just move this up a little bit more. So up here, we have Jazzwares Spartan Collection. Next is just McFarlane Halo 3 and Halo Reach Elites. Next one down is just a mixture of um, Halo 3 and like Halo Reach McFarlane stuff. Next one down is an assortment of McFarlane 4, 5, Reach, a little bit of everything. Um, on the bottom there, the same thing, McFarlane, kind of a mix, but also in the front we have World of Halo stuff as well. Um, up here, this is my Master Chief um, tribute shelf. It's really, really cool. Any enforcers? Um, I don't believe an enforcer figure was ever made from memory. I could be wrong, but pretty sure none. But um, up here, Master Chief um, Dezo shelf, that's that's just my tribute. Um, next down is just like a random assortment of stuff. Then we've got the Play Arts Kai here where my big fat head is. And then um, I don't know how you guys feel about the, the Mattel series, but I love the Mattel series, which is here. I'll get my chair out of the way. But this is the Mattel series. So um, you guys probably remember that from like back in the Halo 5 days. Um, these figures, so bad when you take them out of the packaging. However, package design is great. And they look really cool in the box. So yes, there's that. Um, I've got the whole blue team as well. So there's Chief and Fred. And I've also got, um, I've also got Linda, which is cool. And I've also got our girl, Kelly. So, yeah, that's the whole of Blue Team done with Mattel. I've also got the whole Blue Team for Jazzwares as well. So I'm just going to put those back. Mattel make Barbie too. Oh, yeah, they do. Um, <laughs> I don't have any Barbies, but... You know, if there was a Halo crossover, maybe one day. All right, we're going to transition Master in Barbie. Master Chief Barbie. That would be cool. <laughs> and totally, Macca, there should be. Um, however, there's not, unfortunately. Um, let me just clean all this dust down from those boxes. But this is what I showed before. This is the Arbiter we are going to be painting. I've already given it. It's been resin 3D printed. Um I've already given it two two-ish coats of uh, black underpaint, so or an undercoat. So yeah, I'm, what my idea is for my 20k giveaway, I'm gonna make a couple of these, and I'm gonna have them one gold, one silver, um, one gold, one silver, one bronze. But I was thinking maybe I should do like a like a blue diamondy kind of color, and maybe also like a like a maybe like a rose gold and they will be first second third fourth fifth so there will be five to give away that'll be very exclusive i will have the bases attached to them as well so they stand and the energy sword will be present but i kind of want them to look like they're um statues in a way so then that way it um gives off that kind of trophy vibe so there's not going to be any super crazy intricate painting um to do with any of this because obviously um i just don't have the don't attention the span but yeah i will be giving it a little bit of a earthy brown blacky wash and we'll be doing this one silver just to see how we go but um i'm just going to pan the camera down a little bit and i'll be looking at chat while painting as well so if you have any questions or if you want to see um the collection behind me see what i've got yell out let me know and we'll just keep going so give me two seconds while I set up my space. I don't want any paint to get anywhere. So I've got some cardboard squares to lay out. Sorry. You're going to do edge and highlights? Not edge highlights? Um, maybe not. Um, just because, oh, well, I mean, I can play around with it. This one's going to be a little bit um, of a tester. Um, just to see what I'm playing with. Um, I want to get used to painting this type of stuff. So I kind of just want to see how I go. I don't want to go too crazy just in case. But um, yeah, that's my that's my plan at the moment is just to kind of um, do that. But I totally forgot to get a um, dish. But what I can do 
can you actually just if you go in that draw just oh it's a bit obscured um yeah so if you actually no you'll be right i'll use this this is all good this will work fine all right i'm just going to pan the camera down now so you guys can see what i'm doing here we go and i'll move the light down as well so we can see um there we go my chair's a bit squeaky i do apologize um but yes this is what we're doing today now i've got my water oh i did forget my water <laughs> all right so this is just gonna have to work um obviously we're not going to be able to black wash it straight away because it's going to be wet and we don't want it to turn black so it's just going to be silver for now and i'll probably do this it should only take me about 15 ish minutes to fully paint i think and then um we'll see how we're going from there and maybe do another look at the collection if anybody wants to see um what is that buzzing noise why is that buzzing like that that's crazy that is insane buzzing anyways let's get on with it hey um yes um i'm just gonna use, i'm just gonna put the paint on here because i don't really have anything else to um paint and i'll use this one do, 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 do. all right so how has everybody been anyway um this is my first live stream and it's pretty cash um my setup isn't really ideal that's probably something that i'm gonna have to think about um in the future like how i'm gonna uh set that up and do whatever so um just getting my brush a bit ready here and do, 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 do. all right all right let's i'm not going to paint the bottom of his feet so i can stand him up but um yeah let's let's just start with his feet hey i'll just make sure you guys can see that and it's just going to be i'm kind of aiming for that um that messy kind of look anyway it does feel like there's a it's a bit watery though um aiming for that kind of messy kind of um gilded kind of look anyway like i just want it to look like it's a solid steel statue just kind of standing in the middle of saint helios somewhere so um yeah that's going to be my idea but we're fast approaching um 20k as it is so these will probably have to get done a lot faster than originally planned because keep just reaching milestone after milestone it's been crazy um but yeah so it's been it's been super hectic a very very cool no doubt but yes very very cool um hopefully everybody can see that all right um just get some more paint on there and paint you gotta stop that that's crazy <laughs> That, that vibrating is hectic. I tried looking for it before and it was just oh. over there. And that one was yours. Um, anyway, all good. Hey, Maka, if you're still watching, what's your favorite um, Halo lore character? Just a bit closer. Okay. Yeah. And what's your favorite lore character? Or who's your favorite lore character? I'm pretty sure you already know mine, but. Oops, okay. He's typing away, I can feel it. Um, and thank you to everybody who's watching. Um, I appreciate you guys being here. It's my first casual stream. Um, it could be something I do more of in the future. Um, I might do um, some more like kind of haul lives and stuff like that, um, or just collection tours. A lot of people seem to like the collections, so that's really cool. John Forge, yes, dude, he is so good. You know, actually, fun fact, he was actually meant to be written as a Spartan during Halo, uh, Halo Wars 1, but um, they decided against it because they felt like the impact of a of a uh, 
like a marine going out at the end would be much more like um it'd be much more impactful than what just a you know a spartan would because that's kind of what spartans do spartans are always the heroes but um yeah very very cool yeah oh hello chili what are you doing in here darling <laughs> our dog has just decided to join us on the live stream so that's cute um what did you say Maka? just because he's the only human to yes dude that's a split lip <laughs> all right all right keep those racial slurs to yourself um but yeah no totally agree he is a he is a badass dude he's so very cool um i wish we got to see like i wouldn't mind seeing a prequel game sorry i had that off camera just saying because i had to get into a nice little fine part um i wouldn't mind seeing a prequel series or a prequel game a prequel game on john forge i think that would be um really really cool but um I might actually need a bigger brush. I had an impact right there. I'm not sure what I'd love to see in, in at least on Mission and Wars 2. Yeah, 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 yeah. Agreed. Yeah, cool. See you later, Chili. <laughs> Thanks for just barging in here. Um, yeah, I totally agree, dude. I think that would have been very, um, very, very cool to see. But, you know. We can always hope and there's always time. So now that Pierre is the studio head for that um, franchise, it could mean some really good things for us. So um, you pick the smallest one to do first. Yeah. That's going to take you a long time. That's right. Um, it's a nano block. Yeah. You can play John Forge in Wars 2, though, right? Um, as, like, a, in the multiplayer side of things. I'm pretty sure. I haven't, like, I haven't um, played the multiplayer side of um, Wars 2 only because I don't have time. But, like, I did play the, the main game, and that was sick. Well, I mean, a lot of people had some mixed reviews, but I thought it was really cool. I really He's liked it. Woo! He's a free hero. Yeah. yeah, nice. That's really cool. Um, yeah, John Forge is awesome. And a lot of people got really confused with the whole Omega Team thing um, because um, when Omega Team came into, uh, what do you call it, the lore and Halo Infinite, people were saying that they were aboard the Spirit of Fire, but the, it, that's actually not the case. Um, I don't know. After that, well, they fought in the Battle of Arcadia, but um, they ended up getting back to Reach, I think. And then they fought in the fall of reach as well so i don't know what 343 is going to do to kind of help the fans understand that because that's a little bit um that's a little bit heavy on the law kind of side of thing and not a lot of people know that so yeah it'd be interesting the mega team is spawned in by cd Ardrum. yeah 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 there you go noble six is fire yeah dude 100 percent a lot of it's so interesting with noble six though it, people either love him or just like straight up hate him which is so random or people either love reach or they straight up hate reach and it's just it's so weird like you know how the the community is so um divided on that i i like i didn't realize that people were so oh jesus that's a bit too much on there um i didn't realize people were so divided when it came to Noble Six and Halo Reach. Like, I, I thought Reach was, you know, very well loved by a lot of people, but, you know, it turns out that apparently not. Um, a lot of people, it's either, it's it kind of like, not that it's a comparison, and don't get me wrong, but um, it's almost like it's a, a whole Halo 5 thing. People either loved Halo 5 or more so, I guess, the multiplayer side of things. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, facts, 100%, dude, Mabs, you're on it. Um, Hell Infinite has the best map. Dude, 100%. It is the GOAT, and you can't <laughs> even change my mind. Master Chief and Halo Infinite looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's that master. That Master Chief up there. This one, the oh, it's going to have the glare, but that Chief is GOAT. Look at that. No, it's, it's the it's all right. It's just the glare. Yeah, look at that, the GOAT. Thank you. But yeah, 100% agree. And you know, I'm really sad that we didn't get to see 
um, blue team. Like, oh, and they're, they're still alive. Like, I don't know if anyone here has read the Rubicon Protocol, but um, you guys need to go and read it. Not that blue team is mentioned several, several times. However, the the Spartans that are on the ring that you know, can't like the pods are kind of to do with them. But um, fire team intrepid, fire team, fire team Taurus, fire team intrepid, and fire team shadow. I think are the three main fire teams. But also, there's heaps and heaps of like additional Spartans in there as well. That are um, yeah, it's it's actually really amazing it's like if the rubicon protocol was half of halo infinite just in game form we would have been in a much different space dude 100 percent um yeah but the halo infinite armor is all the good things from the old games yeah dude it is it is 100 percent. i totally agree it's it's a culmination of everything that's perfect so um yeah i totally agree with you there windfall is now yeah there you go um, and it's Makovic in that in is it Makovic? Um, but no, no, it's Spartan Stone, Benita Stone. Um, dude, she is she was strong, dude. She was strong. I'm not going to spoil it, but like everybody knows she dies because if you've played Infinite, you see her dead body. But um, you're giving up on that one. It doesn't even make sense. Yeah, I told you that I was hectic. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Spartan Benita Stone is hectic, dude. Like, she is on par, like, Spartan 2 strength and speed and whatever else. Obviously, the combat skill is lacking, but I'll fight anyone that says Spartan 4s are just trash. I don't believe that at all. Uh, obviously, not really fight anyone, but, like, it is, you know, well documented in a lot of cases that Spartan 4s are actually really, really strong. Windfall is Macaron. Uh, um, Taurus, Windfall, Shadow, Intrepid. Um, they're the ones that I can remember. Stone is Shadow. Yeah, yep, that's right. Um, yes, and also hello to everybody that's still here. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. We um, just unboxed a bunch of stuff. Um, I'll go over it before I end the stream. But now I'm just painting an Arbiter to get an idea for my 20k giveaway, which will be coming up quite soon. Um, so thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I've got to get some paint. But this one's just a dud. Maybe I'll give it away um, as an extra to someone or something like that in the future or whatever, or just add it to my Arbiter shelf. Um, but yeah, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, did you answer Risky? Risky, bruh. I want to know about Browning. Oh, dude, he's still alive, I reckon. I reckon he's just this, like, madman, though. He's just going to be walking around the ring, just rambling stuff about... Um, the endless and you know who they are but no one really knows what con like no one knows what he's talking about in his own context kind of thing how many figures do you have mapped um <laughs> on display actually i might be able to roughly do it for you hold on let's just put this up i think this is a little bit crazy um so if we put oh, this up yeah that's right one, two, three, three, six. There's probably like 30-ish Spartan collection. There's all of the Halo Reach elites there. There's most of the Halo 3 Arbiters there. Um, <laughs> and like this, these figures here and in here are only what I have on display. I have two, three big tubs in my cupboard just here that are stocked. So I would say maybe four. And I've also got a back cupboard that's full of Jazzwares figures as well. And over here, I don't know if you can see, that's full of Jazzwares figures as well. There's McFarlane figures up here. No, that's right. I'll twist the camera in a second. There's McFarlane figures up here as well. Um, five, six, seven hundred wouldn't surprise me. Maybe ish around the, anywhere between five and seven hundred. And then if you want to count Mega Bloks figures, over a thousand. Easily. Easily. And then like I got some Joyride figures down there. Yeah. If you include everything, including McFar oh sorry, including uh Mega Blocks, over a thousand Pops easily. Included in Pops included, closer to maybe, you know, eleven hundred ish. Oh, here we go. All right, let's get back to that painting. Are 
He's struggling, Mom. But yeah, quite a lot of figures. Um, and, you know, it's taken me... I've been collecting for a long time. Like, I always had a little collection. Um, and, you know, one of my first collection pieces was from Risky Oak. I had his um, Halo The Fall of Reach original book from back in the day. And um, I just reunited him with that because I kept it in my collection this whole time. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you know, like, I've, I've been collecting for a little while, but um, it builds up very fast. And if you're lucky, you know, a lot of my collecting stuff was very lucky, just right place, right time. So, um, yeah, just pretty lucky. I'm just trying to see. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is where I was. But, yes, I'm guessing that there is a bit of an empty. Yes, yes, 100%-ish, ish, you know, just depends. Could be more, could be a little bit less, but it's about that number. So I hope that sheds some lights on that, sh shed some light to that. What are your top mega blocks? Oh, I can actually show you, all right? I'll show you. Just to paint No, nah, I'm good with paint. It's safe to touch. Um. Ooh. These are probably my favorite Mega Bloks figures. I mean, Linda's just a kind of stand in because I didn't actually have the Infinite Edition, but I love the Infinite Editions of Kelly, Fred, uh, Chief. This is the, the Fred from Legends, though. I do have the Chopper Takedown set with the actual Fred, but um, yeah, I do have. Oh, maybe I do have a Linda, but I think she's still in the box. So I don't want to open her from a Halo Hero set. But, um, yeah, but also... Um, What's the one in the case in? In there, that's just some Mongoose Outrider stuff. Right. And then I do have a Noble team, which is very, very cool. Um, I used to have, like, an actual, like, little diorama for these guys, but I had to take it down because I was a little bit um, slack on space. Um, what edition is that, Linda, on the stand? That is a Halo 5. Um, I don't know what um, from what set, but it's a Halo 5. But I do have this, which is pretty cool. Um, this is very cool. Um, I'm still chasing Blue Team from this, like in this box set. But um, I do have Fire Team Osiris as well, um, which is pretty pretty cool and then i think there's yeah blue teams on the back down here um osiris yeah you know osiris is osiris is a lot of things and i think cool definitely fits in there somewhere but you know any team that has buck on it is cool so um and i i believe that Locke's character should have some redemption. I think he should get rewritten and um, become a really good side character. I think he had a lot of potential as a side character. I don't know why they tried to um, replace Master Chief. I think that was very, very silly. But, um, you know, we're here now and there's still potential. I was just painting inside the RB's cheeks just then, um, if anybody caught that. But, yes, there needs to be more Lord. 100%, dude. I want more... Spartan Veil Law. She was in the Halo book recently, Halo Outcasts, which is a really good book. You should go and read it. Um, and it has some very, very good tie-ins to deeper lore. Um, but, yeah, there wasn't too much lore with her um, specifically. But her and the RB cruising around was definitely um, very cool indeed. So, yes, if you haven't read that book, go read that book. It's really, really good. But, um. Yes, thank you for still being here, everybody. I appreciate you. Um, you guys are great. Um, like I said, <coughs> first casual stream, it's just going to be really, really chill, really easy. Um, my setup's probably not ideal for doing what I'm actually doing. I just sprayed paint everywhere, so that's great. Um, but... Um, I'm kind of jealous because I could never find any Halo Mega Block figures in any store. Oh, dude, Mega distribution at the moment is hectic. But if you want to stay up to date with Mega Blocks and stuff, I suggest you go and um, check out Demarcation Media and The Domain. 
those two channels are awesome for mega blocks they um they always update the community domain actually is a community advisor for for um mega as a brand so he often will shed light on some stuff for you guys and whatever um so that we're all kept so that we're all kept up to date pretty much um they're starting to uh, come back to yeah yeah you. they are but very briefly, that was a very small run and it sold out everywhere. So that's very good news. So I, I do expect um, to see some more. Yeah, so that's really good. So just keep an eye on Big W. Um, the Mega Xbox just came to Big W. So if you do want to get that building set, um, head to your local Big W or call ahead and see if they can put one on hold for you. Uh, my local only had one. So I think it just depends on... Um, where you go and how popular your big w store is, is. On it's not on pre-order anymore because it's uh officially hitting stores now so we were just lucky that we found it today um otherwise i probably wouldn't have got it because i totally forgot to pre-order but um but yeah um got to give the renegade oh yes dude you keep telling me about that yeah i gotta i gotta give it a go um i think I saw something on Amazon the other day, something about um, Lost Throne or Forgotten Throne. Um, push what back out the camera? What do you mean? Push it back this way? Yeah. Turn the camera up a bit. And move the camera up just a little bit. There we go. Um, yeah, the Lost Throne or something like that was a new Halo book. Um. No worries, man. Um, go check them out. They're really cool dudes. Um, Simon's so cool. He's a he's a very friendly dude. Um, and demarcation is so knowledgeable in terms of um what figure comes from where. He's yeah, he's awesome. They're both really really good. Um, both really good content creators. So definitely go check them out and um yeah, have a look around. Um, but yeah, I'm I. I used to do a lot of collection stuff on my channel, but it really dried up here and it wasn't sustainable for me to um, make these really big expensive purchases and all that sort of stuff for the figures because like it just, yeah, it was just hurting me as, you know, financially hurting me. So I couldn't do that. And I've got a family, so I need to look after them as well. But, um, you know, yeah, so that's why my... Um, collection has it hasn't halted i would say but the reason why i haven't been posting um many videos about collection stuff hello sure is that sean y2 yeah y250 what 2250 yeah how you going buddy thanks for being here i appreciate it i'm just taking a quick drink <laughs> oh. <laughs> the title of your thing you spelled paint correctly did i spell paint incorrectly <laughs> it's p-i-a-n-t oh that's one of my dyslexic things see <laughs> dude should i edit it or should i just I don't leave know it how you do it now but it doesn't matter just leave it um <laughs> i'm pretty sure by the way i have um I, I have dyslexia just undiagnosed because um sometimes when i read words the letters swip, uh, sw swap spots and um, a perfect example was um, what we just saw and when I couldn't spell paint. <laughs> so, um, it's sorted now. well, I, I think I have dyslexia. I haven't been officially diagnosed, um, but it's been happening my whole life. And for example, I checked the title three times before I posted um, Overlord Omega. And um, I was I was sure that I spelt everything right. And someone's just told me that I spelt it wrong. So, um, and it's usually the, the, um, the ais or the eis or the you know all of that kind of stuff is what i kind of seem to get um confused on as well so is that's pretty pain, funny um yeah i guess so <laughs> um like I've, I've managed to work around it and spell check really helps me but i don't have spell check on this computer because i thought maybe i could kind of train myself out of it but here we are I can't spell paint. <laughs> so, yes, that's great. But I think that's kind of funny. So, I, you know, it's all good. I don't mind. Who let you know that I spelled it wrong? Um, Was it Matt? Oh, sorry. Macca. Oh. And your fairy godmother. Thank you, fairy godmother. Thank you for watching over me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, it's all good. I don't mind. It's just something that I have to deal with for... 
you know, I only have to deal with it for my whole life, so that's not so bad. Not at all. Um, but yeah, all good. We're here now. Um, it's fixed. It's fixed. Mrs. All Things Halo fixed it, so that was good. And just a quick check. Um, you can hear me okay, everybody. Um, I just want to, like, my mic is kind of here and I'm kind of here, so it's as long as my cord could reach from where my computer's based, but I'm, hopefully you guys can hear me. And also, yes, thank you. Um, yes, JDM? Yeah, that's you. Um, it's, yeah, yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate that. We all have our struggles indeed. Um, you know, I'm surprised I read that correctly. <laughs> Audio is decent. Cool. Thanks for that, Maka. Appreciate it. And we're getting down to like the finer kind of little fingery things down here. And this first paint run, it probably isn't going to be perfect either because I'm going to go over it again. But um, I just want to see what this kind of effect of like a, like a silvery statue kind of looks like um and then that might be a part of my um future giveaway if it looks really cool i just gotta figure out where to get a um a three oh well gotta get someone to resin 3d print me some of these so um but yeah the power of 3d printing is hectic was that jaya making that with me yeah. oh my goodness um but yeah, we're getting we're getting in there, boys and girls. If there's any girls here, fairy godmother. We're nearly there. It's looking pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's kind of getting a. I don't. How are you even meant to hold paints? Like, obviously you hold it where it's dry, but you know, like, is it bad if I'm holding it like the way I'm holding it? I'm a bit of a novice in terms of painting, so um, yeah. Let's do it. Just doing the underarms. Um, Javian, what's your favorite Halo figure, bro? Or what's your favorite um like piece of Halo lore? Or do you have anything that um anything that you find really special or anything like that? I'd be keen to hear your opinions. Same with you, Fairy Godmother, if you're still there. Um, what's your favorite piece of Halo memorabilia? Or do you have favorite um Halo um you know, piece the piece of merchandise, or if you have, um, you know, like a favorite book or a favorite scene, favorite game. I'm, I'm always keen to hear what people say. You got chocolate. Yeah. Delicious. No, thank you. Maka, good idea. It's one of the guys in Warhammer Store that is inserting a rod into the hole in the foot. It would make sense because there is a hole. <laughs> so I like see dude, Maka, thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate your your huge brain, dude. I really do. You you have a superpower. Um Fairy Godmother, I like Halo when it's uh I can't see because of the love heart emojis in the way. What does that say? Fitting. Oh, yeah, perfect. I love what you did there. I love that. Very, very good. Very clever. Clever girl. You know, Jurassic Park. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's such a good idea, Mecca. I might have to look into that. Enjoying it at least. You mean at least? Oh. <laughs> what are you renting at least? <laughs> yeah, my favorite book. Oh, see, interesting because although I thought Halo, my paintbrush just nearly jumped off my desk, um, the Halo the Flood to me, right, was good. I liked all the additional information we got. However, I feel like it was just. Um, it was basically someone just talking me through the events of Halo Combat Evolved. Um, it was cool to get all the additional information, no doubt, but because I read them in order, so I did, I started from the Fall of Reach and onwards. Um, I really feel like it was, like if you, if you understand Halo lore and you already have a decent knowledge I feel like that's one of the books you could skip if you don't really want to listen to the events of Halo CE again, 
Although, understanding um, uh, down there in the front. Um, I don't have are the comic books. Do you mean? No, your small one. My small one should be down there in the front. There's the shadows of reach near you. Um, but yeah, you know, like I feel like the flood was something that you could skip if you really wanted to because you have a a, a better idea of the law already. But it was a good book, but. For me, I feel like I should have just skipped it and I should have just went straight on to Halo First Strike. Halo First Strike is probably my favourite book. That book was amazing. Um, but, yeah, yeah, no, The Flood is awesome. It's a good book, but I feel like I should have skipped it just because of the the lore, the amount of lore I knew. I already knew what was happening and what was going on. Uh, Fairy Godmother. Oh, Overlord Omega. I'm not a massive Halo fan, but I do enjoy the games. I'm not a guy that enjoys driving into the... Oh, yeah, diving, sorry. See, I said driving. Mm. Uh, into the lore of Halo because I don't know where to start. Let me tell you, brother, you start at Halo, The Fall of Reach. You can read the graphic novel or you could read the Eric Nyland. I think it's Eric Nyland, um, that book, and you'll be in a world of, like, That's amazement. Cool. Um, Halo, The Fall of Reach. I'm pretty sure it's by Eric Nyland. Um, and, you know, if you do want to start, dude, start there. And if, if you yeah. drive a lot for work or if you drive to work, just listen to it on Audible. Um, you know, it's it's an easy way to just listen and vibe out. But um, the books give you so much more context to the devastation and the sheer severity of how um, humanity was, um, you know, really on the brink. Like, humanity was desperate at that point. So, yeah, it's totally up to you. Fairy Godmother, you could mount it on a block of wood. Hey, I like that's, that's the like. full of reach book right there. Uh, Fairy Godmother, you could, yeah, okay, mount them on the feet, then you could hold it and turn it away when you wanted to be able to stand up. Hey, I, I like that idea. Even better, yeah, a block of wood with pre drilled holes. Yeah, yeah. Love that. Javan, have you read the Master Chief origin story? Yes, yes, I have. I, I'm pretty sure I've got all the comic books for that as well. Um, Another really good book um, that you can read as well. Um, I think I think it comes after Contact Harvest. Not just a hat rack, indeed. Julie. Um, but, yes, the, um, the Halo Silent Storm. I think that comes after or before Contact Harvest. That's another awesome book. That's got um, Sergeant Johnson and Blue Team in it, and woo, it's it's hectic, very very hectic, um, and it's got insurrectionist um, plot lines and stuff in it as well. Yeah, so just after Harvest. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Just after Contact Harvest. What are you saying? What? Um, Silent Storm. Just, you know, just after Harvest, one of the yeah, oh dude, one of the best chief stories, a hundred percent. 100 percent just touching up a few things under in here and as you can tell it's very very rough but it's actually kind of turning out how i think it was meant to so that is really good wash. yeah it'll look really good with the black wash on there as well um where can you buy the um, um, so if you just check your local bookstores, they should have it. But also, honestly, keep an eye out at, um, and depending on where you are, um, so, uh, like charity shops, or you could have a look at like Goodwill. They usually have stuff or bookstores. Um, Audible is the audio version. Um, you could definitely get it online somewhere, dude, hundred percent. Check Amazon or Mighty Ape. They usually have all the books, um, ready to go. So uh, yeah, that's the fall of reach. No, they are the same. Okay, so you can get it from Amazon for about you can, fifteen dollars. You can get it on Amazon as well for about fifteen dollar reduce. So, um, you know, if you're an Australian, I've got to get that in there. Um, if you're Australian, you can um go there and have a look as well. Or if you're an American, sorry, you can have a look on Amazon. Um, Booktopia. Booktopia, if you're Australian. It's uh, dot com, so it's worldwide. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's definitely a good place to start if you did want to. Um, you don't want it to be perfect, don't you? Want it to look battle worn? Not battle worn, more so um, statue worn. 
you know, like it's been sitting in the city center for a hundred years. So um, I'm not being super perfect with it. Um, I'm just making sure I get most of the the black parts covered up just so I don't want that to contrast badly with the black wash that I'm going to put onto it. Um, Overlord Omega, um, where do you live, my dude? If you don't mind sharing, if you don't country. want to, that's totally like what country, sorry. Don't give me your address, please. <laughs> um, but yeah, where, whereabouts in the world are you? Indonesia, yeah. Indonesia, that might be hard for you, my friend. Um, I would definitely, honestly, if if it's going to be hard for you in that context, I would um eBay suggest. Is good. Yeah, eBay, eBay, eBay can be good, but I would suggest Audible. I think listening to it would be much better for yeah. you if you have access to that, um, because it's worldwide that way. Um, but yeah, you know that'll be. Or actually. I think you can read them online. I'm pretty sure there's a couple PDFs around that you could probably just kind of download and read. But um, you know, I won't, um, you know, <laughs> be pro piracy. But sometimes when desperate times call for desperate measures, but um, yeah, that's a, that's another option for you, my dude. I just need to get a little bit of water on here. Paint that all. Indonesia, yep, that was the last one. Cool. But we are nearly done with this initial first coat. So that's good. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for sticking around. Hope you learned something. Oh, yeah, down in there. Yeah. I've got to get in there. Yeah, dude. Well, is it? No, there isn't. There's a little um, short story on the official Halo YouTube of um, Omega team being reintroduced into the lore after their long absence of being alive, but no one knew where they were. So that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, like, you know, there's Spartan 2s are always going to be fan favorites, and I think that's something that's always going to be so important. Hence why I want to see more of... Um, like blue team i want to see more of that kind of stuff but um there's not a solid novel just some yeah some short stories and stuff um which is a little bit unfortunate because i think omega team would be an awesome um an awesome team to do a book on just because of how hectic they are but we also need like a proper gray team book as well they were in the cold protocol um and some other book i can't remember what it, that was solid novel, just some short story stuff as part yeah of yeah that's um omega fire team omega yeah. um but yes all right that's looking pretty good am i missing I'm just got to touch up these final little little pieces um i do actually um overlord omega i have heard that it's really hard to get um like halo merchandise and stuff like that in indonesia there's just i don't know if there's no market for it if there's just no distribution there but um yeah also if you guys didn't know for you australians um if there's any other australians in here halo flashpoint is officially up for pre-order on eb games so um i pre-ordered mine today here it is on there which is 229 for the spartan edition um that comes with the elites and that also comes with the uh two or three different spartan fire teams i got that one um you don't have to deposit oh you don't have to pay it down straight away you can um just put a little deposit on it and kind of pay it off because it is a little bit of money uh 50 minimum 50 minimum um deposit so it is a little bit expensive, but um, you know, it's it's very cool. I got it so I can play with my buddy Maka. I'm just glad they announced the names of the other three Omega. Yeah, and didn't you tell me that that was like Kai and everybody else like that as well? Um, Risky, let's go, Sergeant Johnson. Yeah, Sergeant Johnson, it's Origin dude. That, the Sergeant Johnson one? Yes. Uh, no, no, no. For Sergeant Johnson, I think there is a little comic for it, but I think it could be elaborated on much more. I definitely think that Vanikai that should be. Riz. Yeah, Vanek Kaim Riz, yeah. Which I think is really interesting that they did that because wasn't it the whole silver team thing meant to not be 
canon in some ways, but I wonder if they just want to make them canon Spartans so they can talk about them elsewhere. So I guess that kind of does make sense. Oh, we've got a paint in here. And this one. The Master Chief miniature. Oh, and also they have this really cool thing at EB Games, which is um, it's like a Master Chief miniature paint kit. So you can actually just purchase um the master chief as you can see here and you get your own little paint palette set and you can actually paint chief um for the game so that's really cool um that, i think that's pretty it's a realistically it's quite expensive um but i guess you get all the paints and stuff included so um i guess it's okay it's probably not the best I'm but so glad it's not canon glad it's not canon yeah dude look at the said it's uh, a silver time it's 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 semi it's semi canon in the sense that they share characters but it's still in the silver timeline it's 84 dollars to ship the us to indonesia using ups priority mail holy moly yeah that's similar to me man um that's similar to what i have to pay to get stuff from america um so i do feel your pain my guy um and i'm sorry but i mean how many players in the halo flashpoint i think up to four up to four i'm pretty sure uh but um overlord omega yeah that's that's terrible dude that's similar to what i have to pay but um what i try and do is i try and find some friends that i can um post to in america or they can post to me and it's kind of cheaper that way but um you know i think you if you want to do it you might just have to bite the bullet but obviously don't don't break the bank if that's what it's going to cost you um you know you've your life is more important than the halo book <laughs> your well-being is more important than a halo book um yeah that sucks man what about um audiobooks you you don't like audiobooks or you don't want to try an audiobook um that's not an option for you how many players oh yeah flash not four debatable nah so 16 spartan models yeah Actually, how many can you play with though how many people in one game um it doesn't exactly say it doesn't exactly four, say. four times banished elite model rule book play match pre banished elite um, are they pre-colored pre-colored card terrain and topics. oh okay i was gonna say pre-colored i want to paint them deluxe two sided playboard 20 times weapon cards extra terrain and tokens 20 times player model cards, three times reference cards, 12 times D8 dices, D8. Uh, eight times command dice, plastic 3D arena accessories. Oh, yeah, it doesn't okay. actually say how many. It doesn't say how many, but I'm pretty sure it's four because the fire teams come with four Spartans in each. So I reckon it's four. So we could actually have a game. But like, how cool are the elites? Look how cool those painted elites look. It's not focusing because I'm in the way. Focus. Hello, camera. <laughs> there you go. That's all right. The elites look awesome. I'm definitely, if I, like, when I get the set, I'm going to paint them red because I want them to be elite mercenaries um, for the banished. So that'll be cool because the covenant just, that blue just reminds me of the cubbies. So, or oh, what did, what did Macca say? Those hinge heads or something? The split, split lips? Yeah. Um, are the spartan models different um yes so there's a couple um i think there's two variations so there's like a there's mark seven there's um mark seven base i would just say then there's like a few others and stuff but yeah there there's there's different ones so that's that's all well and good um and i think we might be done dudes so that's initially what i'm thinking is kind of painting it just like that i might go over it again roughly oh, and um sorry to kill the vibe it's only two players halo flashpoint is only two players i am so sorry <laughs> to everybody um i'll write a letter don't you worry just kidding um tactical miniature game for two players begin your journey in the war games combat arena this is Spartan Fire Team Commander bringing a range of classic Halo weapons and game modes to life on your tabletop. Very cool. Um, split split lips or what? Sang squealies? Sang squealies? 
Oh, sorry about that car. If you heard that, I live near a main road. Yeah, that's a different edition. You only get um, that and one fire team. Maybe it is more. Yeah. Hold on, let me just double check. Oh yeah, well, fair enough, Overlord dude. Um, I'm sorry that that costs so much. I would, yeah, like I said before, Audible might be your best bet then. But um, that's totally up to you, dude. Yeah, I heard it's very cheap. Um, yeah, I'd love to go and visit one day. I think that would be fantastic. Yeah. Um, this one. Hello, Flashpoint Standard Edition. Yeah, yeah. Two players. Two only. players. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Um, I might give this quick once over, and then we will have another look at the collection, and I'll call it there. Um, I don't want to be up too late. Just go over a few points that I can see. Moister Chief. Very epic. Moister Chief. Moister Chief. Moistier? No, it's Moistier. Moistier Chief. <laughs> Monster. That's funny. And um, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for hanging around. So there's no name Spartans there? No. The no name Spartan. There's no name Spartans there. Um, they may be named. Like, they could be named in, like, in context to Flashpoint when it comes out. But, yeah. It's 1,400 years due to my MP. MPV. Oh. Is that an MP5? MPV? It's a V. What's an MPV, Overlord Omega? I don't know. What that, is that a car? Or is that like a hectic well, MP4 player? Really to live in Indonesia, so a car, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's hectic, dude. That would be like twenty thousand, almost $20,000 here. Do you guys trade in USD over there? Um, out of curiosity? Or, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. And that was a year to the car. Oh, yeah, to the car. Righto. Do you guys trade in USD, um, Overlord? I didn't think you did. Wasn't I thought you guys used BART, or am I thinking of Bali? Is that That's in Indonesia. Bali's in Indonesia. Everyone knows what Bali is. All right. All right. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to let that chill for a little bit and see how it goes, and then I'll go over it once it's dried and see if I've missed too much. And if not, then I'll I'll do the black wash on it. See what it looks like. But it looks very cool like that. Yeah, like, I've missed a little bit up there, but that's okay. What? Up in the neck kind of area. There's a few hexagonals. But that's all right. I'm going to sit this over here on my cardboard and then put my paints away. Sit that up there as well. You can sit there. All right. I'll pack this up. Really quickly. How many customs did you do before? I'll show you guys my customs as well. So um, I used to be really into painting, and this is a custom Sarah Palmer that's yellow, so it's a yellow Halo 4 Scout, um, which I think turned out really well. It looks really, really nice. Um, so that one's really cool. Um, there's also another one that Emily did, or Mrs. All Things Halo, which is this... Um, custom halo reach spartan which is pretty cool sorry about the motorbike that's about to go past it kind of looks like it's meant to be a real armor coating from halo infinite so but, I did it before um, it came out, but so. emily did it before it came out so that's that's funny um there's those two and then um emil recolor yes damn they look awesome yeah thank you dude i appreciate that and then there's this one which I was kind of going for this one. I accidentally oversprayed it with a little bit too much varnish. So she's very, very shiny, but it's been raining. That's just what we're going to think. But um, I tried to go for like the scorpion punch, but then I was thinking more like stinger punch or sting punch because it's like yellow like a bee. But um, yeah, Mark 7, um, pretty cool. Uh, no, this is Mark 7, just regular Mark 7. Um, oh, Mark 5B, no, Mark 7. Mark 7. But Emil's armor core or armor that he wears is Mark, a variation of Mark 5B, I'm pretty sure. Although there's a little bit of lore speculation around that that I'm not going to dive into. Um, a red versus blue Master Chief that I painted, which I think is pretty cool. Um, turned out really, really well. This one took me forever to do. And um, I kind of just, um, you know, kind of just 
kind of didn't really measure up too well, but it looks good anyway. Um, hello there, welcome. Um, Ed, Ed, Ed Vega, Vega, Ed Vega, Ed Vega, you know, Ed Vega, Vega. Sorry, I'm just gonna call you Ed. Good day, Ed. Um, I also have more customs. You said, where are these available? These aren't available to customs. Um, those are customs, my man. I'm so sorry. These are all customs. These are customs. I have some more. Um, let me grab one. Um, yeah, he's normal. He's normal. Custom. I can even tell. <laughs> Custom. Uh, can you pass me Jerome? He's there on the left, the front row left, green. I'll move these guys off to the side. Um, this is my Spartan Cat custom that's just pink and gold and black, which I think turned out really, really well. I really like this one. A little bit dusty on the base, but, you know, there's no judgment here. This is a judgment-free zone. 3D printed no. 3D printed no. These are just strict repaints of the Spartan collection figures that we already have. Which one? So, um, these ones over there? yeah, yeah. Um, this is a Spartan Mark V B Mecca. Uh, this is just a blue version, um, which looks really, really nice. Um, I don't know why he's not holding his commando properly, but whatever. But um, yeah, he looks cool. This was the first one I ever did. So um, yeah, um, that's Noble Six armor type. Yes, that's correct. Um, and then this Jerome is regular. However, I gave him a black wash, so he looks much, much better now. So um, yeah, he looks he looks really good with the black wash. It was a little bit too plastic green for me, so um, a little black wash really um, sorted him out there. So that's really cool. And then I've got this this orange gung gung near Spartan uh, was very orange. I gave him a little bit of a black wash, so it dulled the orange down and it made it look much better um however this uh maca figure so that's noble six armor type yes looks like he already had it oh yeah he was ready for the trenches dude and then this is probably my favorite custom that i made um it's got a couple aspects from a couple a couple different things on it that i think look really really cool um which is my desert kind of lone wolf um long range mission survivor gung near so um he oh thank you for that i'll get rid of that yeah so um oh jesus uh so the backpack is actually from a, an old mcfarlane figure from george uh of noble team so i took that and i just um added that to uh this spartan the little ammo pack kind of little satchels on his shoulders were actually from the thigh armor on a halo 4 soldier figure um and then there's like a little um <laughs> grenade belt here like a shell belt kind of i don't know what that's called like an ammo belt um and that's from a halo uh reach figure from mcfarlane as well and then yeah it's just kind of painted up to be desert style very worn very dirty very you know long long mission that guy looks like an imperial sand trooper yeah dude it does a little by the way unrelated but where did you buy the unsc mouse pad? oh so that went that went for sale um back when halo infinite was about to drop i've also got this as well um i've got a couple spare one. this this will be a part of a 20k giveaway so i have this for a 20k giveaway so um overlord omega if you're if you're still around for the 20k giveaway this will be in there you know good luck to you my friend um there's the keyboard as well um i can kind of move my keyboard over a little bit that's the halo master chief keyboard there's a mouse there's a mouse mat and there's also a headset which is out in the living room currently being used by my nephew but um yeah very cool custom indeed i think i have more do i have more oh i have one more actually give me a second i have two more <laughs> So there's this one as well, which is a Mark V B that I just wanted to do very, very. I was inspired by Spartan um, Black Team, uh, the, which were originally four Spartan twos that went on long range missions. So um, that's this one. But then I kind of thought, you know, a little bit banished, -y, you know, red face mask and red energy sword and you know all that sort of stuff. 
Wasted Chief always wanted a backpack as a cut. Oh, dude, same. I reckon we'll see it. I reckon we'll see it. We'll hold out hope for that because look how cool that looks. Like, you know, he's just got like a little, little, like, like a sustain pack. It's very, very cool. Um, but eBay, sorry. yeah, very, oh, eBay, you can buy though that Master Chief mouse mat, by the way, um, Overlord. Um, and then also, this is only partially customized. Um, so this is Jager O'Domni, and um, he's huge. Like, as you can tell, I mean, he's massive. He's a big old boy. And um, the thing with this is over here on his chest plate, it wasn't depicted very well. Um, like, that's meant to be all battle damaged and stuff, and it just came as, like, this really weird brown, like, kind of grey. So I painted silver in there and did a black wash, and you can actually see some of the the wiring in there that I painted. Sorry about the blurry camera. I'm using a webcam, which isn't great. But, um, yeah, it's it's kind of semi-customized, so that's that's um, pretty cool. But he's huge. He's absolutely huge, and he looks really good. Um, I'll try to see if I can focus it some more. I'll just grab this piece of paper and see if I can get oh, – I don't yeah, think that's going to work. Did it help? I don't know. Oh. It went weird. No, it's not going to work. It's out. It's out. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying my best. Yeah, that's not going to work. I'll fix up this camera situation on the next live stream. I'll get it all sorted and, you know, that'll be better. Mr. Chief, I was going to say that that black Spartan reminded me of a Jager. Yeah, it does, actually. <laughs> well, what do you know? Maybe this could be in the silver timeline. Who knows? Yeah, it reminded me of a Shadow Guard. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It does. It does. It did. It does. Oh, my goodness. Jake is going to fall over. Um, but, yeah, so those are all my customs that I've done with the Spartan collection. And there's actually a um, – hold on a second. Just here, I have a weathered – Series 2 Master Chief, I think. I think he is from Series 2. I can't remember. Um, but he just sits on my desk. But um, I accidentally broke his shoulder off because I dropped him. But um, Chief is also very battle damaged and weathered. And it looks so much better than just the original. Um, do I have an original up there? I mean, for context, it's a little bit different. But... You know, oh, oh, hello, camera. Are you okay? <laughs> Come back to me, camera. There we go. You know, for context, this chief is weathered and really nice, and this chief is just very, very gummy green, even though they're different greens in general, but you can kind of see how much help a black wash, a black wash does. Um, Whiskey Oak, uh, where was that? Might get a PC. If, oh, yeah, dude, if you win the mouse, for sure. That's a solo shadow guide. Yep, yep, yep. Um, PCs are more affordable now. When I purchased my PC, it cost around a thousand dollars. However, you can probably buy a PC with the same. Six oh yeah, hundred percent Overlord Omega PCs are hectic now. You can get so much crazy good stuff in a small, cheap, first mainline PC. It's crazy. But um, yeah, I'm gonna sit this guy up and hopefully he stands. I might just sit him down. He can have a seat. He can have a seat. I'm gonna move the camera back up. And. There we go. We are back. And, um, yeah, so thank you for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to end the stream there. Um, this is our our Arbiter. This is what we came to, very nice and silver. I'll um, do another code of that, and then I'll post a picture and show you guys, and you guys can keep an eye on that on my YouTube community page. But, um, yeah, thank you for joining in on my first um, live stream. I do have a giveaway coming up at 20K, which I might actually do a live stream of anyway. Um, I've got some pretty cool prizes. I do have, um, which one's this? This is two of three. So Spartan signed Enigma with my sticker and it's two of three and three of three. I might give both of these away. So then that could go to someone lucky as well. Um, but yeah, I've got a heap of other prizes, which I'm no longer going to talk about anymore because it's all going to be a big secret. I've got a couple projects up and coming as well. So yeah, um, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. We did pretty well for our first stream. I think it was a little bit 
technical in some places. Um, I'll get that sorted though for the next stream, that's for sure. Um, thank you, o uh, Overlord Omega. Mm -hmm. um, I appreciate it. Thank you for being here, um, Wester Chief. No worries. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Maka. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, the Godmother. Um, Matt, yes, please get a PC. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> um, Risky Oak, sorry. I uh, just use your name. But um, anyways, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. And um, I'll, I'll see you in another stream. Um, you can't wait to see the stream shot. Yes, dude, I will. I, I don't know if I'll stream it. Um, it might just be that I just do this and then, I mean, you could probably see it in person anyway. But um, I might just see how it goes when I blackwash this and then go from there. But I, I think I'm onto a really cool idea with this. So we might see more, a gold, silver, platinum, blue, green, who knows. But um, yeah, cool. Thank you for everything, guys. Um, I'll catch you in the next one and take it easy. See you later.